welcome back to Amishiroi Recap. Today, I will recap, reincarnated as a sword. The story begins with a boy being killed by a car, then reincarnated into a legendary sword in another world. And he is in the middle of a forest filled with monsters. Knowing that he was in another world, he tried to check the status of his strength, and there was the ability of self-healing and telekinesis. Then suddenly, a group of goblins appeared near him, because the goblins had soiled his new body. As a result, he attacks the goblins with the power of telekinesis to cut them down. <laughs> After that, his ability status increased, and he gained a lot of skills. When he managed to destroy the magic stone, it turned out that he could absorb the opponent's skill. So he intends to collect many skills to become the strongest sword in the world and find a master who deserves to have his strength. On the other hand, there was a black cat race who became a human enslaved person, and her name was Fran. She wanted a powerful force to be free from that suffering and had a goal for evolution. The next day the sword fought many monsters until it evolved to level 2 after collecting magic stones. Knowing magic stones was essential to getting stronger, so he raided goblin nests to collect as many magic stones as possible. The place is divided into five areas, and various strong monsters rule the area. Then he wanted to fight the monster leader in Area 5 South, the Greedy Slime King. He needed fast and powerful attacks to defeat the monsters, so he combined the two skills to destroy the magic stones. In the end, he defeated the monster slime and obtained an instant regeneration skill, and a dimensional storage skill, which could store anything. After that, he defeated three monster leaders in Area 5 and took all of the monster's skills. Since no more powerful monsters existed in Area 5, he intended to head to the forest area. But he didn't know that ground could absorb magic, so he couldn't use telekinesis and was stuck there for one month. As a result, he felt hopeless and wanted someone to pull him out of there. Instead, that person would become his master. Then when it rains, Fran and the others are attacked by a bear monster. The bastards order the enslaved people to protect him. But after that, he dies from an attack from a bear monster. So the enslaved people could move around freely and quickly escape from there. Then Fran sees a sword and tries to pull it out. It turned out that they could communicate telepathically. Even Fran's swordsmanship became level 7 after removing that sword. As a result, Fran can beat the bear monster easily. Even though there is still a bastard man who hurt Fran, the sword immediately kills him and destroys the slave necklace so Fran can be free. In the end, Fran officially became the sword's owner and was given the name Shishu. So they will start a journey together and find a way for Fran to evolve. Then it was explained that no black cat race could evolve. Even Fran's parents tried hard to find a way to evolve but died in the middle of the journey. So Fran inherited her parents' will to become a black cat race that could evolve for the first time. Then Fran saves a merchant who goblins have surrounded. He offers Fran to take his train to Alessa as a thank you. In the middle of the trip, he told that the little monsters started heading toward the human territory. It was caused by Shishu, who fought with the monster leader. But that person thought that the remains of the S-rank corpse monster named Fenrir, or the wolf god was the cause of the chaos. Not only that, but he also told Fran about the job of an adventurer. Adventurers were divided from G rank to S rank. Knowing this, Fran felt drawn to becoming an adventurer. After that, they arrived in the city of Alessa. When entering the city, they looked for the adventurer's guild. Then Fran meets a receptionist named Nell, and Nell explains that if Fran wants to become an adventurer then she must pass the combat exam. Fran accepted that and headed to the test site. Then Fran will fight a Kijin race named Donadrond. Shishu ensured he was very strong, so he advised Fran to fight at full power. At the beginning of the fight, Donadrond was very dominating, so Shishu increased Fran's speed so she could win the fight. Not only that, Shishu also uses magic to help Fran in battle. As a result, the two of them managed to defeat Donadrond. Even Nell was amazed by Fran's prowess, 
who was on par with S-rank adventurers. After that, Fran met the guild leader, Klimt. He also felt suspicious about Fran's strength and used an identification skill, but Shishu could fend off the skill. However, suspected Fran was still accepted as an adventurer. Then Fran chose the profession of a magical sword girl to register as a G-rank adventurer. After that, Fran sold the parts of the monsters she had defeated to Nell, so Fran got 195,000 gold pieces. When Fran was about to leave the guild, other adventurers suddenly blocked her. They were irritated to see Fran earning so much money. They also greatly looked down on the black cat race and wanted to hurt Nell. So Fran became very angry and wanted to beat them. After that, Nell asked the group of bastards for compensation for the mess. Meanwhile, Fran left there to find lodging and combat equipment. Then a weapon crafter met Fran in the middle of town and he was called Garrus. He offers Fran to look at the armory in his shop. Fran was also very happy to be able to buy her first protective gear. <laughs> then Garrus confirmed that Fran's sword was a smart weapon. It turned out that Garrus had God's eye, but Garrus was a good person. He taught them how to strengthen attacks by imbuing magic into the sword so that their attacks become stronger and sharper. Shishu asked Garrus to make him a sword sheath, and Shishu also gave him level D and C monster materials. That made Garrus excited to make the best scabbard and strong armor for Fran. After that, Fran went to a clothing store and was helped by a woman to choose the best underwear. <laughs> then Fran bought cooking utensils so Shishu could cook later. After that, they headed to the inn, and Fran was very happy to be able to stay in a clean room even feel happy to meet with Shishu, who has improved her life, whereas Shishu feels that he is reincarnated to be destined to be with Fran in that world, and because of that, he will take care of Fran until she grows up. The next day they went on a G-rank adventurer's mission to gather herbs in the forest. Then suddenly, Fran heard the sound of fighting there. There was a group of adventurers fighting goblins. Because they were in trouble, Fran saved them and fought the goblins. Not only that, Fran also healed those who were injured. Knowing of the hobgoblins, they explained that there was a possibility that the goblin king and the goblin queen were in the forest, so they wanted to report it to the adventurer's guild, while Fran wanted to fight the goblins there to become even stronger. Even though they managed to defeat a group of goblins, other goblins started arriving to surround Fran. Then Fran fights with goblins to increase her level, while Shishu protects her by using healing magic. After defeating 130 goblins, Fran's level increased to 12. Then they went around the forest and found a goblin nest. Shishu advised Fran to rest to recover stamina first. Then suddenly, a group of adventurers came to meet Fran there. Fran explained everything and pointed out the whereabouts of the goblin's nest. They confirmed that it was a dungeon. After that, Fran went to the guild leader in town and explained about the dungeon and how she had fought 130 goblins, knowing that they thought it was the mark of the goblin stampede. So the guild leader rushed to gather adventurers above level F to prepare for battle. Besides that, the guild leader raised Fran's rank to F and asked him to join in exploring the dungeon. So Fran met Garrus so he could repair his combat equipment which had started to break down from the previous battle. After that, Fran cleaned herself by taking a shower and accidentally met Nell. Then Nell explained that the dungeon was a testing ground for humans made by the goddess of chaos so that humans who could conquer the dungeon would become stronger. The next day they met Garrus because Shishu's scabbard was finished. Then Fran gathered with the adventurer squad, but suddenly, the goblins attacked them. Shishu asked Fran to walk in the air and attack the goblins at the dungeon entrance. After that, Fran rushed into the dungeon alone. On the other hand, a dungeon master summoned a powerful being to protect him. Then Fran leads the front line by fighting the goblin army alone, but Shishu helps her by casting strong fire magic, so that Fran can save energy and fight the goblin king and queen to the fullest. On the other hand, the adventurers rushed after Fran. 
Even though Fran was very strong, she was still a child, so they were worried that Fran would get hurt while fighting the goblins. While Fran manages to find the whereabouts of the king with the goblin queen, Shishu also launches his fire magic attacks there. But Shishu's strength was very strong, and they even defeated the king and the goblin queen with one strike. So Fran felt sad because she wanted to fight them. Then when exploring the dungeon, there were a lot of bugs, and they were happy because the bugs had magic stones. After fighting the bugs for 30 minutes and defeating the leader of the bugs, Fran's level has increased to level 17. However, they feel a very strong magic behind the gate. Shishu also strengthens all of Fran's abilities just in case they meet a strong enemy. Not only that, Shishu promised to make curry dishes if Fran managed to beat the enemy, so that made Fran excited. After that, they met a B-rank greater demon with dark magic with a status skill above 1000 points. He can destroy one country alone. Meanwhile, the dungeon master is a very weak goblin. Then the battle begins. Even though excelling in sword techniques, the demon can hide in the shadows. Fortunately, Shishu immediately healed Fran's hand, which was severed due to the demon's attack. After that, Fran continued to launch attacks, but nothing worked. Even that demon has a taker skill that can steal Fran's sword technique ability. It turned out that the demon couldn't steal Fran's sword technique ability because that ability belonged to Shishu. Then the demon got annoyed and launched continuous magic attacks at Fran. Fran also tried to avoid the attack while Shishu looked for the demon's weakness. After observing the demon's attack pattern, Shishu finally discovered the demon's weakness. It turns out that if the dungeon master dies, then the greater demon summoning magic will disappear. So Fran and Shishu launched a fire magic attack at them. But the demon had a lot of magic capacity. Then Shishu wanted Fran to throw it at the dungeon master to distract the demon and attack the magic stone while the demon was off guard. In the end, they succeeded in defeating the greater demon. Even Shishu's strength could recover after absorbing the magic stone. Then Fran slashed the dungeon master and succeeded in conquering the dungeon. The other adventurers were surprised to see Fran defeating a B-rank demon, but Donadron scolded Fran for fighting alone. After successfully conquering the dungeon, Fran's level rose to level 25 and got skill over power and even got demon's taker skill. After the skill taker is raised to level 10, they can 100% steal the opponent's abilities. After that, Fran met the guildmaster, who asked about the magic stone in the greater demon's body that had been lost. Fran explained that the magic stone had vanished due to her attack, even though the original magic stone had vanished due to being sucked up by Shishu. Then Deputy Knight Commander August suddenly appeared, and she accused Fran of lying about the magic stones. August has the trust of lies skill. He can see through the opponent's lies and convince others to believe his lies. Shishu confirmed that August had done bad things with that ability. Then there was an argument between August and the guild leader. Fran tries to stop them by giving goblin body parts. But August insulted and belittled her, so Fran became very angry. Shishu asked Fran to use the skill taker to seize August's abilities. As a result, they got two skills, namely Truth of Lies level 5 and Court Etiquette level 4. After that, August suddenly felt unwell and left there. Then the guild leader explained that August was a bastard man and ruled the city with the power of money. Because of that, the guild master asked Fran to be careful. Also, Fran's rank rose to D rank, and Fran was very grateful to him. After that, Fran earned a lot of money and became famous among the adventurers. Fran even cheered up the atmosphere by treating them to all the food. The next day Shishu and Fran made curry together. Fran was happy to eat as much curry as she wanted with various spicy and sweet flavors.
Later, when Fran returns to town, a knight asks Fran to be careful because August is looking for her. Then Fran felt someone was following her at night, so Fran lured him to a quiet place to fight. Arriving there, August appears who has gone mad. He wanted revenge on Fran and asked the assassin named Jurin to kill Fran. It turns out that Jurin is the blue cat race, an enemy of the black cat race. When facing Jurin, Fran was terrified because she remembered the cruelty of the blue cat race. But Shishu explained that Fran had gotten stronger and there was no need to be afraid of Jurin because Fran would win against him. As a result, Fran cut Jurin's body one by one, and the last one was beheading him. <laughs> It was all revenge for Jiren torturing the black cat race. After that, the guild leader asked Fran to meet him, and he was grateful because Fran had found August. It turns out that August has insulted the nobles and made off with a lot of money so that August will be punished for what he did. Okay. Then Fran wanted to leave and suddenly got hit by boobs. She was in a rank adventurer named Amanda. It turns out that she likes children. That's why she wants to take care of Fran as her child. As a result, the next day, Amanda always follows Fran wherever she goes. Even though Amanda has a strange character, she gets the title of protector of children for creating an orphanage. After that, Fran went to meet the guild leader. He asked Fran to explore the spider's nest dungeon to prove Fran's prowess as a D rank to everyone. In return, Fran will get five magic stones. Of course, Shishu will be happy if he gets magic stones. Then Amanda, who knew about it, wanted to join in exploring the dungeon with Fran. As a result, the guild leader agreed to it. After that, they returned to the inn, and Shishu absorbed five magic stones, thus making Shishu stronger. The next day gathered together with adventurers who would explore the dungeon. Of course, Amanda also participated. There is a C-rank adventurer group, and there are also two E-rank groups. Then a man named Crad wants to find trouble with Fran, and he doesn't believe that Fran is in D-rank, but Amanda stops him for being rude to Fran. After that, they traveled to the dungeon and rested somewhere because it was already night. When Fran is assigned to watch over the night, Crad challenges Fran to fight him. Crad underestimated Shishu's sword's ability. As a result, Fran became angry and wanted to prove the greatness of Shishu's sword. In the end, Crad was defeated so badly that Fran beat him up. After that, Amanda wanted to practice fighting with Fran. Of course, Fran accepted the challenge because she was curious about Amanda's strength and asked Shishu not to help her. During the fight, Amanda used a whip weapon and succeeded in making Fran helpless, so Fran exceeded her limits by using magic simultaneously without Shishu's help. Even though she managed to launch a very strong attack that burned the area around her, Amanda could avoid the attack because she had a special ability to stop one opponent's attack. After that, Amanda cured Fran, and she dreamt about her mother taking care of her gently. Then Fran, who regained consciousness, was greeted by Amanda with a hug and said that Fran was very strong. The next day Fran apologized to the other adventurers for making a fuss in the previous battle but they were pleased to see the fight and acknowledge Fran's prowess as a D-rank adventurer. Then they explored the spider's nest dungeon, which had six floors. The adventurers were in charge of exterminating the monsters to train them to be stronger, and some of them collected spider threads to sell. Meanwhile, Amanda and Fran watch over the place. When they reached the second floor, Fran asked about combat ability and magic. Amanda explained combat ability is the skill of using weapons in battle. Then skill is a god's technique given to humans, and even animals also have skilled. There are special skills and additional skills that only a few people have. After that, basic attribute magic, namely earth, water, fire, and wind, there is also light along with darkness. At the same time, the high level attributes were inferno, sea, land, and storm. To strengthen magic elements, one must train their body with magic elements every day. <laughs> Not only that but there are also combined attributes, for example combining water, and wind to produce ice and snow, fire and wind to produce lightning. 
Knowing this, Fran wanted to master lightning magic. Because Fran and Shishu master all the elements of magic, so they can easily master lightning magic. Then they arrived at the sixth floor, filled with poisonous spiders. They were overwhelmed by the monsters because the spiders had evolved to become stronger. So they decided to retreat to the fifth floor, and Amanda and Fran temporarily held the spider. However, the two adventurers were poisoned and accidentally bumped into Fran. Suddenly they were hit by a trap magic that made them teleport to another place and even forcibly disarmed. So that Shishu and Fran became separated, making Fran lose her magic ability and her fighting ability. Of course, Fran will have a hard time against the trickster spider in front of her. After knowing that Fran and the others were in danger, the adventurers and Amanda immediately searched various places to find them. Even though they had used high-level tracking magic and detection magic, they still couldn't find them. While Shishu was looking for a skill to find Fran's whereabouts, Shishu found a familiar summon skill. It turns out that Shishu can summon the demon wolf race to track Fran's whereabouts, but Amanda will know the secret if he uses that magic in front of her. Since Fran is the top priority, Shishu uses familiar summon magic in front of Amanda and explains to Amanda that she is Fran's friend. So Amanda decided to believe in Shishu. But the wolf went out of control because his magic energy was unstable. Amanda asked Shishu to give a new name to the wolf. As a result, the wolf was given the name Yurashi. After evolving into a dark wolf, Shishu asked him to track Fran's whereabouts. Yurashi quickly used many skills to head to Fran's place. On the other hand, Fran fights against the spider monsters with strong determination, even though her body is badly injured. <laughs> then came Shishu with a very strong fire magic power, so Fran was saved, but the monster ran away from the place. After that, Shishu introduced Yurashi to Fran. Then Fran explained about Shishu to Amanda. Knowing that secret, she was happy and amazed at the greatness of smart weapons. Then they healed the other adventurers and brought them to safety, but the other adventurers weren't there. Then a guardian elf appeared as an owl to meet them, and he also told them the location of other adventurers. On the other hand, the adventurers were trapped and attacked by many spider monsters. When they almost died there, Fran came with the others to save them. After that, they jointly launched an attack to exterminate all the monsters. Even the guardian elf healed the injured adventurers. At the same time, Fran fights the trickster spider with thunder magic so they can paralyze the monster. But seeing Fran being attacked, Amanda remembered her past when she cared for two black cat races. Because Amanda wanted to protect Fran, Amanda finally defeated the monster with one strike. <laughs> but Fran felt upset because she wanted to fight the monster alone. After that, they headed to the core room of the dungeon. There were many magic stones, and they were allowed to bring some magic stones with them. Then Crad thanks to Fran for saving his friend and admits that Fran's strength is very strong. After conquering the dungeon, they returned to the city of Alessa. The guild leader was amazed that Fran had become stronger and even had a level C pet. So the guild leader allowed Fran to explore the Ulmut dungeon in another city. Not only that, Fran's profession changed to Sword Magus. Before they left Alessa's town, Garrus had already completed a new combat outfit for Fran, the Black Cat Armor. Fran also felt happy with the equipment and even had stronger protection. The next day Fran will go to Ulmud and part ways with the townspeople of Alessa. When Fran refers to Amanda as Mama, Amanda suddenly remembers her past. It turned out that Amanda had taken care of Fran's parents at the orphanage. When Fran was born, they introduced her to Amanda. So Amanda is happy because their son, Fran, has become stronger and is living a beautiful life. <laughs> After that, Fran flew with Shishu to the floating island, but they fell due to being attacked by the undead knights. It turns out that a dark explorer named Jean did it. However, this anime will continue into season 2, and season 2 is currently in production. 
and that is the end of the video. Remember to subscribe and like this video, so see you in the next video.